morning students hope you all are safe i am going to take selected important chapters of class 5 so today i am going to start chapter 4 skeletal and nervous system so let us go to the class in the first part of this chapter that is about the organ systems of our body what do you mean by organ system you know that our body has many organs they work together so these different organs combine to form an organ system for example digestive system so you know that digestive system includes stomach large intestine small intestine etc so it is the combination of different organs right so organs combines together and form an organ system and organ systems combines to form the human body so we can say that human body is made up of all such things so different organs combine to form an organ system some important organ systems in our body are given here they are respiratory system nervous system digestive system excretory system circulatory system skeletal system etc it is also given in our textbook page number 34 you should read and by heart it now let us move on to the main topic which we are going to discuss brief in detail so we will know more about the skeletal and the nervous system in detail so let us start with the skeletal system as you know that every person has skeleton made up of many bones and these bones give shape to our body and let us move in many ways and also protects our internal organs so what we can say that this system is actually the framework of the bones and that gives support to our body so framework means it will make up the structure so bones will support our body by making a specific structure and let us move in many ways and then it will let us move in many ways right so in this way we can term this system and this system is skeletal system okay. now let us move on to the next topic human skeleton so what are there actually a human skeleton consists of as you know students the skeletal system is the framework of the bones and that give support to our body so there are total 206 bones in an adult human skeleton so a human skeleton actually consists of four main parts and there are uh, they are skull rib cage backbone and limbs so so the first uh, organ is skull so actually the skull here acts like a helmet and it protects the brain inside it and secondly comes rib cage or ribs or what function is carries out or what happens with the rib cage so the rib cage acts like an armor and it protects our heart and lungs inside so thirdly comes the backbone so backbone protects and surrounds the spinal cord then finally comes limbs the bones of limbs means arms and legs are known as limbs so finally the bones comes finally comes the bones of limbs so you know that bones helps us in movement along with muscles and joints so muscles and joints are present in the limbs so as you know that muscles and joints help us in movement and bones also as help us in movement so there are some of the organs which are present in the human skeleton so now let us study about each of the organ of human skeleton in detail first of all skull so skull protects the most important part of our body the brain so skull is actually made up of different bones so there are some of these bones protect our brain whereas others make up the structure of our face right so if we touch beneath our eyes we can feel the ridge of the bone that forms the hole so where our eye sits right so you can just imagine or you can just feel the this skull or you can just feel the ridge of the bone that forms the hole where our eye sits and skull protects the brain even our lower jaw bone is the only bone in our head so which we can move so and we can see here here we can see that this is the movable this is the movable bone lower jaw bone is the movable jaw movable jaw bone it is a movable bone and you cannot move your upper jaw bone so you can only move your lower jaw bone all bones in the skull are fixed except the lower jaw so i hope you all clear this tone so let us move on to the 
another organ of this skeletal system. Second one, rib cage. Okay, so ribs make up a cage or it makes a cage of bones around the chest. That is called a rib cage. So it is easy to feel the bottom of the cage by running our fingers along the sides and front of our body. So that is a few inches below the heart. So if you breathe deeply, we can easily feel our ribs right in front of our body. Okay, so you can just try this on yours. This is one such picture of rib cage and this is stern. So let us discuss about one more thing that is a stern. So what is actually stern? You know that the rib cage protects our heart and lungs. As you can see here, this is a rib cage. So it can protect our heart and lungs because it acts like a protective cover of these organs. Okay. So as you know that most of the people have 12 pairs of ribs, a long bone and the center of this chest and its presence. This is the yellow color bone which is termed as a sternum. So always remember that the first seven pairs of ribs attach in the front to the sternum. So sternum means it is the long and strong bone which is present in the center of our chest that holds those ribs in the place. The ribs are also attached to the backbone. However, the last two pairs of ribs, they are not attached to the sternum. You can see here. They are not attached to the sternum, but the last, two, the last two are not attached to the sternum. They are free. That is why they are called as the floating ribs. While other pairs of ribs are attached to the sternum, but these two ribs are not attached to the sternum. So that's why they are called or they are known as the floating ribs. So let us move on to the another organ of our skeletal system. I hope you all clear this. So let us move on to the another organ of this skeletal system. 